It's maths! It's maths! Let's rub the magic elbow patch and see what fun is coming up today. No more sad maths. It's bad maths time. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion. Let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> One potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potato, six potato. You get to mop the floor. Will these kids survive Maths Mansion? Will I survive that sad man? Get out of my program! Look away. Look at your teacher. Look at anything rather than this. Now, sometimes I get letters from viewers just like you. And one letter asked me if I was worried about having hundreds, hens, and blue nits, oh, and hence, living in my hair, all multiplying away. Does it worry me? No, because these chaps all love clean hair. So I must have very clean hair indeed. <laughs> If I'd known this job was going to involve having things living in my hair, I'd never have agreed to it. Honestly. A oh, poor sad man. Don't waste your sympathy on him. I've got to work with you lot. Oh, do tell us your names. Robin Peters from London. Christian Cooper from Southend. <sighs> right. You need one more maths card before you can escape maths mansion. Can they do it? Well, you've done multiplication before, but can you handle decimals? Let's have a look. 2.8 multiplied by 3. Go for it! Well, it... Now remember, estimate first. I was going to. Well, go on then. 2.8 is roughly 3, so it's about 3 times 3. 9. Got to break 2.8 into units and tens. Units first, that's two. Need a zero, 2.0. 2.0 times three, 6.0. 0.8 times three. Three eights are 24. 24 in tenths is 2.4. Add them up, decimal point in, Add the tenths, 0.4. Add in the units, 6 and 2 is 8, 8.4. You got it! And it was a good estimate. You seem to be doing well. Oh, yes! If you spot a decimal and a multiplying sign, there's no need for you to panic or to start to moan and whine. Don't forget to estimate and all will turn out fine. Just make sure that all the decimal points end up in line. You do the multiplying, check the decimal points in line. First you do the units, check the decimal points in line. Then multiply the tenths, check the decimal points in line. You've done tenths and you've done units, the answer's coming soon. It's the total of the answers, now they're all combined. OK, are you all ready? Yeah. Now, who has got the biggest number? I've got it. Oh, hold it up nice yeah. and tall. That's lovely. OK, now I'm looking for the units. Who's got the units? I have. Would you mind putting it underneath, madam? That's very nice. Line up those decimal points. That's very nice. One underneath the other. And we've given the same number of digits to make it nice and easy for you. It's really taking shape now. OK, who has got the tenths? The tenths next. Underneath, madam, as quickly as you can. Remembering to line up those decimal points. And finally, the hundreds. That must That's be you, sir. Oh, very nice. Oh, look at that. You should be proud of that. So, 2.48 breaks up 
into 2.00, 0.40 and 0.08. Very good. Stay like that for the rest of the day. <laughs> Right, we've moved on to multiplying tenths and hundredths. Are you ready for the test? Because the test is ready for you. OK, an easy one to start with. 2.48 times 2. Clock's ticking, go. 2.48 is nearly 2.5. 2.5 times 2. 5. You're in units. 2.00. Doing tenths. That's 0 0.40. Doing hundredths. That's 0 0.08. Yes, keep going. Multiplying two twos are four. Tenths. Four times two is eight. Hundredths. Eight twos are sixteen. Combine all the answers. Six hundredths, nine tenths and four units. 4.96. Yes! So far, so good. Still that last maths card needed, though. 4.22 times three. Go. It's a bit more than four times three. Call it 13. Units first, that's four. Four times three, 12. Yes, faster. Tenths, 0 0.20. Two tenths times three is six. Hundredths. Two times three is six. Quick, you've got to add them up now. Six and six is 12. 12 units. 12.12. And you got it wrong. You add digits in line. It should have been six tenths and six hundredths, making it 12.66. Well, sometimes getting your maths wrong does matter. They don't get their maths card, so they don't get to leave Maths Mansion. They're going to have to stay for another series. Go and cry into your pillows. Well, here's your last chance to test your math skills. 1.23 times 4. 5.67 times 8. Estimate, multiply and add. And remember to line up those digits. They certainly won't forget again. Until next time, no leaving without learning. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion. Let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> This has ruined my chances of ever doing shampoo adverts. Ooh. <laughs>